Hi guys, happy, what is it, Thursday? I forget. Today has started off fine and then it got to be a big old piece of crap. So I'm not in the best mood, I'm kind of depressed. I started to talk to you guys about it, but I felt so shallow and so pathetic. And then I started to cry, so... I just took that right out of the video because nobody wants to watch all that crap. Nobody has time for that. I didn't want you all to think I was being selfish or petty or fishing for sympathy or compliments or anything like that. So I decided not to keep what I recorded because... It's pathetic. So, anyway, let me show you my new jeans I have on today. So, I really like these jeans. They are the ones with the plain butt. I like the fit and the cut and the style. And then I looked closely, and then right there, there's this white stitching that, was, that had come off. It was gone about that much. I was like, are you kidding me? I was so mad. So I sat down and I sewed on some white stitching. But I don't know if the original white stitching is going to keep falling out because I couldn't fix it. I couldn't tie it back together. I couldn't knot it, you know, make knots in it. I so I'm afraid that every time I wash these pants, more and more of that white thread's gonna come out. But I didn't want to go back to the store and try to find a new pair because honestly, I think this was the only 910 in a short and I just didn't want to deal with it. So I sewed them up and put them on. I like these a lot better than the other ones I bought. The other ones I bought yesterday are two... They're boot cut, and so they're kind of hippie right here, and then skinny at the knee, and they kind of flare out at that. I mean, they're okay, but I'm pretty sure I'll be wearing these, like, every day of my life. Anyway. So, it's all I could do is get my makeup on today and fix my hair. So, now, I am... Let me turn off the TV... I've got to just get out of here to lift my spirits a little. It's 3 o'clock. So I have something to take back to TJ Maxx. It's only $6, no, $12. I forgot, my, I don't know have have my receipt, but they said they take it back and just give me in-store credit. It's those phone covers. They're terrible. Just terrible. So I'm taking those back and I'm going to walk around and we'll take it from there. So anyway, I'm starting to feel a little better now. Eating some Mentos. It's kind of a gloomy day. Um, I have my new Mary Kay eyeshadow on called Rose Gold. It doesn't really look very rose goldy to me. It looks more gold. But I totally forgot I bought it and my Mary Kay lady was like, hey, do you like your eyeshadow? I'm all, oh, I forgot I had it. So it happens to makeup porters. You just forget you have things. So while well, I'm in TJ Maxx, I know of one thing that would make me feel better today. That would be a new purse. But that ain't gonna happen. Cause Daryl will get mad. A purse is just one of those things he can't appreciate. Cause I have enough of them. Well, I only have like three or four, but I don't even know if I might just have two or three. 
front row parking, yo. Here we go. Okay, this is for how do you do makeup. I think her name is Stacy. This is the bag I want. On set. Michael Kors. It's suede. I want it. I want it. And I found this cute little gold Tegan yellow. Okay, so I'm done with TJ Maxx. I got, I thought my little phone case was $12, or my phone cover was $12, but it was only $5.99. So I got that back. And I put it toward my purse, and that purse is a Tegan Yellow from, I've seen him on QVC. It was normally $49, and I, since I used my little in-store credit, it brought it down a bit, so I paid $47 for my purse. And the jeans, they were all cute, but one pair was too big, which was nice. And that was my favorite pair, and then the other two pair are too small. I don't know why I tried them on, I just, just did. But I'm not going to do that anymore, I'm done. And I don't feel too bad about my purse purchase because I'm taking back that hairspray to Sephora one of these days and that'll give me $30 back. It is. It's almost 5 o'clock and like there's that big line of heaviness. That big line of dark heaviness. And that's where I live is down there. Okay, I'm back. Um, here's my cute purse. I like this purse because, well, number one, I like Tegan Yellow. I've had another bag before from them, and I like how they're, it's a leather bag at a very reasonable price, except for I'm pretty sure the handle part, this part's not leather, but the rest of it is. That's the way it is on my old purse. And it, this one actually even comes with a strap which I probably won't use. I'll, you know, I might use it sometimes, but for now I just like my little handles. But I like how it's comparable in size to my other purse. Um, I just, it's a perfect little size. I won't be able to carry too much in it. Just my essentials. But I don't know. There's nothing wrong with that purse. But this is just different. You know, it's a girl thing. It's a purse thing. So, I'll be able to put my wallet on this side. There's a nice little pocket there. There's a middle pocket with a zipper. And then on this side, there's little pockets for your cell phone or your pens. But I will probably keep my cell phone in the side pocket here so I can just reach in and out. Because I keep my cell phone in this pocket here. So I'll just put it in this pocket. But I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use this. I'm going to save it for Christmas. So it's going upstairs. But yeah, I'm excited. They had a dark brown one and a black one. But I really like the gold one, so that's my purchase for today. I totally wanted that Michael Kors bucket bag, but it was on sale for $99, and they're usually $129, but I don't know. I just, I just, maybe if it wasn't Christmas time and 
stuff like that, but I just couldn't spend the extra 50 bucks, which is lame, I know, because it seems like every day I go out and buy a bunch of credit. But you know. I'm just trying to be good, you know? So right now I'm going to boil some eggs, because I'm going to have a salad with an egg for dinner. And then Daryl's going to have a freezer meal, hopefully, if he's not too full from lunch. But he bought one of these for himself. And then he bought this mac and cheese. We got these from Trader Joe's. And then I got me a, a reduced fat one. The only thing different between this, the reduced fat and this one is there's just half. I looked. It's just that this is just half the amount of this. That's all stupid. So yeah, I want to get rid of some of these frozen meals. Or there's also lasagna up here and there's a chicken cordon bleu left in there so he's got his pick can't deny that that's tom turkey okay so i am making myself a salad i'm just using some of this bagged lettuce it's already starting to go bad and i just opened it last night so i'm just using some of that and some of the shredded lettuce and I just mixed it together. I have cucumber, tomatoes, some carrots, snap peas, avocado, a boiled egg, and then I'm gonna put just a little bit of this ranch dressing on it. Oh, I'm telling you, you guys, you have to try the coyote ranch dressing if you can find it because it tastes so much like homemade ranch. It tastes like good quality restaurant ranch. It doesn't taste like funky cheap caca restaurant ranch. So it's just amazing and it's also like a dip too. It's just amazing. I'm telling you, you gotta get it. Just do it. Have I ever steered you wrong yet when it comes to food? Dinner's done. My salad looks good. Here's the finished product. I got it all together and it smells so good, especially my egg. You know how good a boiled egg smells. Tastes pretty good. The avocado's nice. But what I really enjoy is the egg. I love eggs in my salad, especially when there's a cat hair on the end of it. Just kidding, let me get that off. So Daryl's not home from work yet. He carpools with his friend every day and his friend is on a phone call making him late. So that's just what happens when you rely on somebody else so anyway, I just went ahead and started my dinner. I ain't got all night. So when he gets home, I have no clue if he's even gonna be hungry, but he'll just get something in the freezer or a salad. Pretty much, that's the deal. Hummel. Looks like the kids have had a rough day. They're just chillaxing with their toys in between them. They got their spoon and their mouse and a string and another mouse. Oh boy! Oh boy! Yeah. You have to coon tail. You have to coon tail. Okay, so Daryl's home, so he wants this for dinner and a salad. So, yeah, I'm sure I'll have a bite or two. Okay, so Daryl's having his macaroni and cheese. That's what he decided to have for dinner. It's from Trader Joe's and it's good. So, I'm having a little dish of it, and she'll be having a little taste of it. 
And it's really super good. It's cheesy and easy and breezy and whatnot. Okay, everyone. Dinner was so good. That um, Trader Joe's macaroni and cheese is really good. I love mac and cheese. It's like I could, I could marry it. I love mac and cheese. I rarely make it because it's so fattening, but Daryl wanted that one, so the one I got supposedly is guilt-free, but I doubt it. Um, but it was so good. I hope the one that I got is just as good. If anybody knows if the guilt-free macaroni and cheese is good, let me know. Um, yeah. So, I'm a little more chipper than I was earlier. I'm sorry for being such a poo. I just, I was just really depressed this morning and feeling a little sorry for myself. Not only in my pant size, but just as a person in general, I struggle a lot with who I am and who I'm not. and. I just wish I was a better person, that's all. I mean, I could go into it a lot, but of course I won't. But it all boils down to I wish I was a better person. But I guess that's up to me, right? If I want to be a better person, I have to do better things. So anyway, thanks for watching today and dilly-dallying with me. Tomorrow morning I have to go to the thyroid doctor, so that's at 1040, so I'll leave here at 10 o'clock. I might make three or five dollars at work before I go. Ha ha ha! Today I made sixteen dollars. So, yeah. That's what we'll be doing in the morning is going to the doctor, so wish me luck on that. I stopped taking my thyroid medication two months ago. He took me off of it. We've been weaning off of it for a few years now and I am I was finally ready to get off of it. So we'll see how I'm doing. You know, if I feel fine, so if I... He'll probably give me another three to six months before we decide really what's gonna happen but if it turns out that I don't do very well then I'll just have to get back on my medication which is fine so anyway that's that thanks again and we will talk to you bright and early in the morning good night everyone peace thumbs up